Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, and welcome to another fine Earwolf program on the Video Podcast Network. Stay tuned for Who Chatted? Oh, my favorite. <laughs> of Who Charted. We are streaming live through YouTube on the Video Podcasting Network right now. We're doing it right now. We're here live. I'm your cuckoo, Kulapi Lysak, and he is your wee-wee, Howard Kramer. Hello, Kulap. <laughs> Hello, wee-wee. How are you? You're going to be so distracted by the monitor. I'll be staring at it the entire night. Stay on Kulap. That's good. I like it. <laughs> Whoa, that guy. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I shouldn't look at that. I'll look this way. Am I still on there? Yeah. Are you going to look at our engineer, Frank yeah, there Capello? He is. Dirt Cup. Give Real. it up for him. Oh. Real milk Dirt Cup. Thank you, guys. Thanks Thanks for having me here. Thanks. Sure. Thanks for wearing your nice shirt. Yeah, yeah. We're all dressed up for Valentine's Day. This is, uh, let's check out Tuxa's outfit. How's this? She is. What are you wearing today? Uh, I'm wearing a, a, a short navy dress with bronze sequin stripes. I see. Who's the designer? Uh, I believe it's French Connection UK. Wow. That's right. FC UK. You're wearing FC UK. And uh, Kramer, could you describe your ensemble for the viewing public? I am wearing sort of a, I feel like uh, Doctor Who <laughs> meets Doctor, help me out. No. No, nothing like that. <laughs> oh. Anyway, or this is what I wear. Uh, it's what is this? Tweed? What do you call this? <laughs> yeah, sure. It's a cool jacket. Yeah, you're wearing a cool jacket. You're wearing a, a nifty scarf. Yeah. And a chapeau. Yeah. I got color. <laughs> this is my Valentine's Day outfit. v Valentine's Day. Let's get funny. Here we go. <laughs> the camera's distracting. <laughs> Too, Kramer. There's a lot happening for you. That's right. I'm going to settle in. When we normally do a show, you're often distracted. Right. But I can go out into my own world here with the, it's like surveillance. <laughs> They're watching. Do we want to, oh, we should say um, later in the show, we're going to do some Q&A. So make sure you tweet at us. You, you When you're on YouTube, uh, start commenting, ask us questions and we'll answer them. Yeah, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. To, to directly engage the Chartists. To engage the Cuckoo, the Wee Wee, and Dirt Cup. And Dirt Cup. Should be good. <laughs> Should we get into our, our first chart? Absolutely. Okay, l let's hear that music chart theme. Wait, let's hear it live! Let's hear it live! Hey, Chartists, do your part. Hit me one time. Music chart! Hey, Chartists, do your part. Hit me two times. Music chart, music chart. Hey, Chartist, do your part. Hit me two times. Cool up, cool up. <laughs> hey, Chartist, do your part. Uh, 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 uh. Tunes. Tunes, yeah. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, I can't fit my headphones over the hat, so I'm going like a little hybrid. Yeah, you look really path. cool. You look like a DJ. Thank you. You like a like a DJ professor. Yeah, like Skrillex <laughs> in Vegas with... Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Is that your... Oh, no, that's for real. That's, yeah, happening. that's happening. that's happening. Are yeah. we going to get tickets? Sure, why not? Send us tickets. <laughs> Send us to the Earwolf P.O. Box. You know that we love gifts. Speaking of gifts, we have some. Sweet. Uh, we, we've got... I think Should we, we do have, them now? Or? I mean, we're already... We brought up gifts. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yes, right? We brought we up did. gifts. Ooh, beautiful. Somebody got us... Gifts. We got some gifts. Yeah. Ah, uh, gift thing. You sent us gifts. Show that gift to me and Koo. We thank of you. Ah. Thank us. Red velvet. We got some gifts. Don't you those contain bugs? We got some gifts. Don't worry about it. It's a gift, to bro. Me and All right. Koo. We thank of you. Thank of you. There it is. Yeah. Gifts theme. Gifts theme. Send us gifts. You get to hear this theme. 
We, we need that Kleenex box right there. We need to strike it? <laughs> Do you want to strike good. it? Let's strike the Kleenex box. Okay, striking box. it. All right. <laughs> Vote in on what else you'd like to strike during the uh, episode. We'll get rid of whatever you don't want in the shot, including uh, myself. <laughs> Took to, you have to you I have, have to, to stay, stay no matter yeah. what. Uh, this music chart is Billboard Pop Songs. This is the Hot 100. Mm-hmm. This is the top five. So dropping two spots to number five, Lumineers with Ho Hey. I belong, you belong in my sweet home. I belong, you belong in We missed my this. This was Grammy night. This is perfect for Valentine's Day, Howard. It is. If you've got a Valentine. We're each other's Valentines. Yes, we All are. of us are Valentines. You're our Valentines. <laughs> What do you think of that song? Do we still like it? It's not for me. I like I like the old medicine show quality of it. Sounds like a traveling snake oil salesman. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It peaked at number two. It spent 17 weeks on the chart. It won a Grammy, didn't it? Yeah, they won a Grammy. We were busy Grammy night. We were doing uh, shows in San Fran. That's right. You were doing uh, that night. You were doing some Dragon Boy suede action. That's right. At the rickshaw stop in SF. That's right. And don't we have, don't we have a Dragon Boy Suede album? Yes, afoot? we do. When? Oh yeah. When? Uh, it's it's gonna be late in this month. Um, all the uh, wait. This a month? This a month. It's <laughs> gonna be uh, yeah. It's coming out soon. Can't wait. What's it called again? Douche Minutia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm never gonna stop asking you it. It makes me laugh. Kramer. <laughs> So distracted. <laughs> I'm doing so he doesn't have to zoom. I go. You're helping him. <laughs> sorry, sorry, America. All right, let's let's let's, let's chart it up. Last week it was number two. This week it's number four. Bruno Mars with "Locked Out of Heaven." How about a tooth to dance party? <laughs> yeah. Those are passions usually reserved for your man Scotty. But <laughs> this this is passion? <laughs> yeah. That's how you won him over with that movie. Yeah, right? I did. It's sort of a Seinfeld Elaine. Yeah. Um, it's a grabber. Dance. It's a grabber. Uh, I'm grabbing your attention. Mm-hmm. And all you can pay attention to is me. What do you think of that dirt cup? It, I mean, if I were at the club mm-hmm. uh, and I saw a lady like you dancing like that, yeah. I'd have to go say hi. What's up? Mm-hmm. Hey, How are hi. you are you a robot? <laughs> are you uh, in epileptic shock? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but Bruno Mars, you know, I think he's gonna wane for me. He's gonna like do a good song and then do one that I can't stand, and that's the one I can't stand. It's weird because like I. I think I've said this before. I really appreciate him. Right. I think like he's a good performer, and I like that he's kind of doing this like throwback stuff. And yeah. He's got a live band, but then I don't actually really love his music. Right. But I, I like the idea of him. Got it. Locked in. Do you get it? Yeah. Do you get how I feel? People like that Pompadour Palm Door quiz that we did. <laughs> how did we play that again? It was uh, you know, I give you a situation and you have to pick. Palm door or a pompadour. Can we play now? Are you able to do it? I'll try to cook one up. All right, let's go. It's time for a Howard quiz. You're on a cruise ship, stranded. It's filthy. You and a bunch of other carnival cruisers. Mm -hmm. It's like a floating tenement. Okay. The tow truck, what do they call it? Tugboat. The tugboat, okay. The tugboat breaks. Ugh. You land ashore in Hawaii. Ah, that's okay. Bruno Mars, home village. Okay. They need metal. They're in desperate need of metal. They'll trade you for food. Okay, the food from the cruise ship? No, you need food. Okay, and we'll get metal? If you have metal, they'll trade you for it. Okay, all right. I have a necklace, okay. You just screwed up. <laughs> Palm door or pompadour? Wait, would I either... When you wash up on Bruno Mars Village, hungry, 
Oh, well, well then definitely have? a palm, a palm door, right? A, a, I don't know. An what? award to What's it to made melt of? it down. It's Is, made out of metal, right? I guess. <laughs> Pompadour. Yes, you fit in. <laughs> yeah, you live as one of them. You get food anytime Wait, you want. Everybody in his village has the same hairstyle. <laughs> they think you're him. They think you're him. Wait, they think I'm Bruno. You can <laughs> live among them as Bruno. That you'll be treated amazingly. Okay. All right. I definitely get this quiz. This is okay. a really good quiz. <laughs> Dude, who'd you, what'd you pick? Uh, a pompadour. Good job. <laughs> Rising two spots at number three, Swedish House Mafia featuring John Martin with Don't You Worry, Child. I like this one. Position was number three, spent 17 weeks on the chart. I feel like this was shot six months ago. Like, even when I look there, that looks like it happened six months ago. Why? What happened six months ago? It just feels like it was months ago. There's a sense in the air. <laughs> Are you having sort of a detachment from the presence? Yeah. <laughs> or, like, if I was watching this live, I would say, no, this is fake. They shot this six months ago. Why? Because of your hat and scarf combo? Yeah, I guess. Or it just has that feel. It does does that feel real? <laughs> or does it feel like what six months ago? Oct uh, uh October? Was it August. October? Or, uh, oh, six months ago you were missing a tooth. Yeah, August. You had a cracked tooth and you had to get a new tooth. Right. Remember that? Yeah. Oof. It was like what was that like? It was like you had lost your mojo. Like your mojo was all in that one tooth, yeah, you felt less of a man. Yeah, remember that? No, I don't. I had no idea you cracked it. Too. Oh yeah, I cracked it. Which I woke one? up. I woke up uh, right here. This fang right here. Mm -hmm. I woke up the morning of August sixth, and uh, I stuck my tongue on my tooth, and it cracked in half. The strength of that tongue, ladies. Yeah, how about that? Strong tongue. That's what they call me. Me yeah, like call them strong tongue. Wait, you call them? Me call them strong tongue. You're called strong tongue? Yes. <laughs> I forget you're Native American. Exactly. What's oh. it, what else you got on the what? countdown? Are we still doing charts? Yeah. Last week it was number four. This week it's number two. Justin Biebs featuring Nicki Minaj with Beauty and the Beat. <laughs> Any votes of what to strike? I don't know. Maybe those. The backpack. We could lose the backpack, America. <laughs> this is its peak position. It's been 14 weeks on the chart. Uh, Beauty and the Beat. Beauty I saw beat. Bieber on Saturday Night Live this past weekend. And thoughts? I didn't see it. Uh, he's too young to attempt comedy. Really? Yeah. Well, that's an interesting thing. He's take. no Lip Nicky. He's no Jonathan Lip Nicky. He didn't nail it. Wait, where, where did Lip Nicky nail it? Oh, in Jerry, uh, Jerry Maguire. Maguire. That's it? Or didn't he have a commercial after that? Whatever it was. <laughs> whatever he, he appeared it. in. Whatever I saw Lip Nicky in, he exceeded he uh, what Bieber did. <laughs> Who are your favorite child actors? Oh, I love... Uh, Sloppy Timmy. Sloppy Timmy Slotsman. <laughs> I love... Uh, uh, Who else is there? Uh, there was a... Uh, God. Oh, Haley, Emmanuel Haley Lewis. Emmanuel sure, Lewis sure, is probably absolutely. the best. <laughs> the best. Yeah. Haley Joel Osment. Haley Joel Osment. You like him? Oh, what the uh, the kid from the uh, commercial? Uh, you know, we talked about him once. Uh, what? Oh, uh, My, uh, Mason I, Reese. What? We yeah. talked. I don't know who that is. Look him up. You guys are at home. IMDb Mason Reese. Yeah. Close YouTube. No, don't close YouTube. Stay on YouTube. <laughs> Open another yeah. browser window. Yeah. Or a tab, your choice. Mason Reese. He was this real, like, w weird looking kid who did commercials. <laughs> He's the best child actor ever. Uh, so, what were we talking about? Beauty and the Beat. Oh, we, uh, we were talking about Biebs. You thought he wasn't great. and But you're loving Nicki Minaj as a judge on American Idol. Oh, yeah. She's the best. Yeah, I had said that on this show. Yeah. And then um on record it, you did. It got reiterated by Rolling Stone. They did a little piece about how she's just the best judge they've ever had. I mean, I guess Rolling Stone listens to who charted. 
Probably. They even have a uh, who charted section. Or is that spin.com? That might be spin.com. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, if, I, if we had a countdown top five idol judges ever or talent show judges ever, she'd be up, she'd be up there. Ever? Mm-hmm. You think under, I, I still think Simon Cowell is like number one. She's better than Simon. Ooh. He's one dimensional. He's you more agree? predictable. I've seen a little bit of Nikki on American Idol. She is, she's great. She's great. She's bringing like voices and like oh. characters. Yeah. Let's see it for the boy, boy, mm-hmm. boy. <laughs> one more time, please. Let's see it for the boy, boy, boy. <laughs> she does that with like a white hat on with a white blanket <laughs> over the hat and then just a complete white like military outfit under that you know that white hair is reminding me of uh howard and i met yesterday with our friend dave we right. were at a restaurant outside oh this is huge yeah go ahead <laughs> who should walk up but cray no, Sean. would they they were well, there yeah yeah who should we were sitting there and all of a sudden like we're like oh my gosh she was there when i got there and we did a we did, had to do a whole recon where Howard had to pretend to go to the bathroom. He was losing his mind because if you if Charters will remember, like for a good section of time, Crayshon was like, yeah, she Your was gal. like the it girl of 2011 on Who Charted. It yes. was all about Crayshon, and I love what she was bringing to the table. And and we were trying to have a meeting, and he was completely distracted. Yeah. So then yesterday, I'm like. So then finally, towards the end of our meeting, she got up to leave and some guys took a picture with her. I didn't want to bother her. That's not my thing. No, he's too cool. Plus, you know, I had, I'm had i still suffering from ScarJo depletion. <laughs> I didn't want to have Crayshon depletion. So um, basically, uh, I walked up to the guys on the way out. I said, hey, was Crayshon cool? And they both looked up at me and they go, that was little Debbie. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> I th- the entire time we were sitting there for an hour, and I thought that it was uh, Crayshaw. It was her, it was her her buddy. Won't say sidekick. She stepped out into her own now, but it's, it was Little Debbie. They look alike. All little white rapper chicks look alike. So I'm really glad I wasn't like, I love you, Crayshaw. She'd have been like, what? What'd you say, trick? She hit me with that Oakland slang. Oh, man. What's up, SF? Good times. We were just up there. <laughs> Holding strong at number one. Number, number one. one. Taylor Swift with I Knew You Were Trouble. Oh, I knew you were trouble. What's this I hear? Again. She's going to take another crack at Harry or something. I saw it on the internet. Oh, are you talking about Harry from One Direction? Yeah, Harry from One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Did, I also heard, uh, I know this is our show, and we don't do much research, so maybe we should know this. We're just asking questions to the people. But didn't she, like, make a slam on the Grammys about Harry, and then, and he's not supposed, he was told not to retaliate? Oh, I don't know. I missed the Grammys because I was doing Dragon Boy Swing. You were doing shows. I was, I was dancing behind you during one song. Yeah, that was great. During uh, Heal, Heal With My Steel, um, during that, like, second chorus, I was like, Hey, Kulop, you want to come up and dance? And before, like, even Kulop is out of my mouth, she's up there. Yeah, that's how I do. Writhing. That's how I do. Bay, uh, writhing in the Bay Area. You don't, you just have to say, guh, not even go. I'm already, I'm already doing it. Right. That's who I be. <laughs> hey, what do you think of doing this uh, on, on video? Doing what? What's your first impression of it? Of this business this here? This virgin voyage in here. I think it's good. It's weird to have more people in the studio. Yeah. Uh, I like the smell of baked goods. Baked goods That's is nice. good. That's nice. We got flowers. That's Should we cool. lose? How are we going to? What are we going to lose? How are the YouTube comments? Can, we, should we be on YouTube? Well, no, 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 because that'll be one more. Just, Kramer, please don't go on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please not go on YouTube? I can bring up the YouTube comments if you want. I mean, we're going to have people. Okay, fine. You can bring some up. But, you know, Julie is going to come in later and she's going to oh, okay. we'll give us info. Okay. All right. <laughs> do you, do you want No, I'm not going to do her job for her. Oh, all right. All right, Dirt Cup. Uh, I'm, all right, sassy I'm, Dirt Cup. I'm, wow. Ooh, Dirt Cup. Ain't my job. It's not my department, he says. <laughs> in summation oh in summation the best track is probably that uh what do we have bruno lumineers uh don't you worry don't you worry oh, that one. Yeah, yeah. sweetest house mafia i like that song how about you Dirk? how are you feeling what are you vibing on on these five 
I, I mean, I, I like the Lumineer song. It really, it really I, it makes me feel good. There Aww. you go. It's been a warm spot. Are you? What do you? What's happening with ladies tonight? Are you? You know? Yeah, you got any <coughs> dates <coughs> cooking tonight? <coughs> This is exactly what's going on with ladies tonight, guys. Uh, uh, wow. Yes. Too. Video. Yes. Being here there with you. you. Go. Oh, that's great. So you'll be Skyping a lady later? No, I have no plans with okay. any ladies later no on. Ladies. Right. Mm-hmm. ladies. 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 Dirt Cup wants some love. Fill his dirt cup with some love. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it, right? That was good. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. You know what? Let's take a break. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be back with, uh, I think we'll probably do a movie chart. Take them a break. Take them a break. We are back on Who Charted. I, of course, am Cuckoo. And I'm Wee Wee. And we're here with Dirt Cup. Dirt Cup. <laughs> uh, and uh, right away, uh, a lot of people say strike the backpack, please. That's what I figured they would say. The Let's get a wide spoken. shot so I can strike the backpack. America, you voted. You don't want to see this. I don't blame you. Look at this thing. That doesn't pop on camera, really. Look at this. Yeah. It's disgusting. I had some human oh, action it. figures that made of the same stuff. Awful. It's gone. Ugh. Wow, that must feel good, huh, America? <laughs> I bet you feel great now. Uh, Ronald Riley says, do you guys know how fabulous you look right now? Thank you. Thank you. I think Kulop looks fabulous. I think I'm doing my best. I've got a... Uh, what would you say? You don't see, you don't see any Doctor Who in this? Um, with the scarf uh, and the. Do you see hat. Doctor Who? You okay, really see Doctor Cameron, Who? He Camera gets guy it. sees it. Uh, you must not know sci-fi too good. <laughs> the comic books. This is very Doctor Who, I think. I I mean yeah I guess I'm not that up to date from what I've seen I, I don't know if he uh, would have worn such flair around his neck but yeah. Didn't yeah. he have a scarf on a lot? P- Pussy Blay. I don't know. You're right. It's a hole. It's a hole in my nerddom. Okay. You're more of a Doc Ock. <laughs> Dr. Octopus chick. Hey, Ninja Meat wonders, Howard, who would be your dream Valentine tonight? Ooh. Who would your dream Valentine be tonight? I have a dream Valentine. And? I'm not going to reveal it. Come on, no, man. No, no, I can't. I cannot. Why? Because you never know. They may be a guest on the show or <gasps> something. That's Initials. Not... No, no, no. Okay, first name. So I'm going to give you who, what was the question? The question was who would be your dream Valentine for tonight? Okay, so this is like a dream version of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who are some ladies in the in the news these days? In the news these days. Uh, Mary Todd Lincoln. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, because of the movie? Yeah, from the parts of Lincoln. I watched Lincoln on the plane during our little mini tour that we had. Most of Lincoln, because our flights wasn't yeah, as long as the I movie. Yeah, I saw like the first two hours, but it's like 2.40. Mary Todd Lincoln reminded me a lot of the of former regimes I've been in. Really? With her interminable grief <laughs> and her, her inexhaustible grief. There were times uh, after he watched, we got off that plane, where he kept referring to himself like Lincoln. Yeah. He was like, yeah, 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 people don't get my jokes, much like Lincoln. Right. Like, what are you talking I'm about? A, I'm trying to, um, <laughs> to impart important ideas with the jokes, and I'd say them and nobody gets them. So you just sit there like Lincoln and just smile at it myself like, Ooh. I feel like Lincoln didn't talk about how negative ions come from both the ocean and also like when you move your uh, hips. Uh, Okay, but me talking about negative ions, is it that much different than a Jefferson City lawyer had a parrot that said, woke up every morning, speaking of impending doom, one day (laughs) the lawyer shot him for the sake of peace and quiet, I suppose. See, then they don't know what he's talking about. It's the exact same thing. You're doing another version of Springsteen again? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I feel like Springsteen and Lincoln are real close. They're both like uh, statesmen, uh, empathetic statesmen with uh, heavy hearts, okay. good sense of humor. All right, that's two things. Coming in at number three. For what? Um, well, how Lincoln and Springsteen are the same. Oh, is that what we're counting down? Yeah, now we're counting that down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you did two things. Come on. Oh, uh, You're so close. Uh, uh, friends friends of the uh, African-American. Okay. <laughs> Lincoln freed the slaves. Springsteen had Clarence Clemens on saxophone. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Uh, coming in at number two. Uh, Lincoln's wife was nuts and Springsteen married a red. What? What's the? 
she's not nuts though. Who? Oh, you're saying just red reds are almost predetermined to be a little cuckoo in the cabeza. They're right. <laughs> They're so right. I, so I've heard. <laughs> so you've lived through. Mm-hmm. And at, are we at the top? The top of how Lincoln and Springsteen are very similar. Uh, they both have vision for America that they hold other people to that vision. Like, America's going to be great and moral and honorable. Get to work. Wow. That Thank you. A great dismount. Fantastic dismount. I think it's time to hear the movie chart theme. I think it's time to hear it live. Let's do it. <laughs> With one mic. <laughs> Movies, they're just like tweets. They release them constantly. Most of them we don't need to see. But when you get the good one, ooh wee! Movies. Hey, I felt uh, I felt a little Lincoln slipping into my rap that time. Boom! <laughs> what is that? Oh, a weariness has hit my bones, Tukta. <laughs> Have you seen this movie? Yeah, and I'm not sure if Howard saw it. <laughs> yes, I've seen it. That's fine. I saw, I saw, I saw through it to its soul. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I saw, saw it. through it. I am the president of who charted, clothed in immense power. You will read me these charts. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Uh, so this movie chart is moviefanatic.com's top movies for Valentine's Day. Oh, I'm headed to the theater, but I'd rather stay here with you. <laughs> all right. We got Valentine's Day movies. <laughs> and by the way, I call this v- Valentine's Day. Cool up, Tukta. Valentine's Day. I don't. I don't I appreciate it. I just don't know if that's going to catch on. I think it will. You think so? Yep. Especially, uh, uh, I have, I'm sending an envoy to, 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 uh, the Pacific Rim to get it started over there. And then bring it slowly. It will come this way. Right. Like, so you're like a, the Filipino islands and then you're just going to have right, it. Right. Like Gangnam style. It's going to start there and take over. <laughs> yep. Okay. That makes sense. Yep. All right. Coming in at number five, the constant gardener. Constant Gardener. Ooh, look, we can see the, the wow. trailer. This was on Showtime last night. Oh, did you watch parts of it? I thought that I should yes. because I knew it was on the countdown. Yes. But then I thought, no. Yes. <laughs> because you remembered you don't like to watch movies. All right. Is that Daniel Day Lewis? And Rafe. Rafe. Oh, that's Rafe Fine. This is the tragic love story. Uh, look at that picture in picture. Technology, it's amazing. Wow, we could do a whole. Uh, we could do Jaws that way. Oh, God. Oh, wow, oh, cool up. Great idea. Uh, imagine Jaws with us right down uh, there. Imagine them that. Imagine them that. that uh, I want that on a T-shirt. I'm writing that down. Oh, oh, good. Oh, no, there's no paper for you to write notes. Oh, no. Hey, you want to use this? You Absolutely. can use this. What All is right. this? It's just a note. It's okay. So the constant gardener, while you're writing your notes, which, guys, you might want to get a shot of this. Imagine them that. There's not enough paper. Usually it's like a mess of writing, but... He's got a beautiful mind. Good thing we have a fork. <laughs> In case I want guys, to skew. that's an option to strike. That is an option for you guys to strike. Uh, the production budget of this movie is $25 million. Worldwide, it made $82.47 million. So this movie is Ra- Ray Fiennes. What was the Amazon uh, merch oh number? God. I didn't look that up. That's not mine. <laughs> That's yours. All right. Ray Fiennes goes across the globe to find out what became of his beloved wife, played by Rachel Weisz. Uh, yeah, it's silly. What? There's Why is that silly? Because there's... if. Most people fall in love with someone who's on the same general area as they're in. I mean, buddy, we're going to bring what? your history up. Oh, well, Australia. long distance relationship. Australia. Yeah, I didn't go. I didn't go give chase. I stayed here where I belong with the Chartists. Pardon me? You didn't go give chase? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't chase her down on a different continent. Right. OK. So you think but you cared for her. You were considering it. Yeah, but I think ba- a lot of times that's not going to work out. Oh. 
if someone goes far away and then you try to recreate what you had here all the way over there, it's different. Don't don't scoff at environment. It affects everything. Chart exclusive. You meet somebody in Vegas. Okay. Maybe you're not going to get along so great back in Poughkeepsie. You're from Poughkeepsie. Right. You meet someone in Vegas. Right. You bring them back with you, and it's just not the same. Right. Maybe you meet someone in Australia. Okay. And then you live in... Wait, that one's... Uh, yeah, you live in Australia. Okay, you live in Australia. I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. My point is the love Wait, you, you, you both the live love, in Australia. <laughs> the love you forge in one area may not transfer. It might tra- it may not translate. It may not translate. But it could though. You've it, you've had long distance relationships, not I mean across the country, this beautiful United States. Right. And it worked for as long as it did. Right. But well, you could always find someone in your locale is what I'm trying to say. It's hard in LA. You guys can both attest to that. If you're looking, if you're not looking, it's not hard. Okay, let's go around. Are you looking? No. Are you looking? No. You can't be looking because you live here. It's too hard. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> He's right, it's, it's way too hard. See? What? You were Come right, on. you were right. <laughs> this looks like a soap opera, doesn't it? Or like, uh, I'm not, I'm disparaging at all. Whoa. It's good light. Is it, is it good light? Oh. Let's know. strike the book. You guys ready to lose the book, America? Lose the book. And Canada and Tor Shaven, wherever else you are? Strike that book. People were asking what's in the book. I oh, know, this I is an Earwolf guest book. I've never noticed it before. Yeah, Brian uh, Benavente asked what is in the book. Brian Benavente. Brian Benavente. Benevente. Benevente. Hey, uh, are you having a good time at this reception? Ah, Benevente. <laughs> Here's a picture John Daly drew of us. John Daly from the Nick Kroll show from... Uh, from Rafflecast. From Rafflecast. Own, from hashtag 230 PST. Yeah. That's a John Daly right there. John Daly. Uh, coming in at number four, Moonstruck. Moonstruck is one of Nick Cage's best roles ever. Uh, remember when Nick Cage was the best? Cher, of course. I rejected in this film. Miscast. Really? Didn't, didn't she won an Oscar for this in 87. Doesn't matter. They were wrong. Okay. On record. First of all, the, on record. How you, how, was Nick Cage? He's the one who should have been nominated. Okay. This was a tour de force. This is, he was like hot in this section of time. Yeah. Everything he was doing was great for the for a while before he started doing all the action movies. Although yeah. I love some of those action movies. Mm, yeah, some those, of those are rid- great for like, stuff. yeah, like, yeah. But he, but it's he's over the top in the action movies. But it was great that he was over the top in movies like this. Yeah. And Peggy Sue got married, and Vampires Kiss, and Raising Arizona. Raising, Raising Arizona, Arizona. Is so good. One of my faves. If you haven't seen Vampire's Kiss, that's as nuts as anything he's ever done. It's insane. Re- Watch I haven't it. seen it. That and the, the what's the uh, the bad lieutenant? Bad lieutenant is crazy. Insane. It's it's yeah. up there with yeah. that. Okay. Um, for our younger uh, viewers, listeners, uh, the film. Wild at Heart. Go ahead. Wild at Heart's great. For, uh, so let's see. The film will always be known for its unforgettable quotes, including Loretta, who Cher played. Uh, as unforgettable one is snap out of it. Snap out of snap it. Snap out of it. The fact that Nick Cage is at the other end of that verbal slap doing his best clueless Italian New Yorker with the most heartfelt of intentions. He took my hand. Lincoln? Lincoln? No, this is Nick Cage. Oh, okay. He took my hand. My brother Johnny took my hand. He had a wooden hand. Didn't Lincoln have a wooden leg? I mean, now, okay, we'll do a countdown on how Nick Cage and Lincoln are the same. I could do that. All right, coming in at number five. Bombastic. Right? <laughs> Bombastic. Coming in at number four. Uh, yelled at their woman. <laughs> coming in at number three. Uh... Help me out. Both related to the Coppolas. Boom! Both related to the we- Coppolas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just go with it. All right. Uh, number two. Both from Illinois. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> what notes are you making right now? Those are just lines. <laughs> and at the top of them, Nick Cage and Lincoln are one and the same at number one. Uh, later years marred by madness. Or, uh, or or obstacles, <laughs> or uh, people took shots at them. <laughs> some literal, some figurative. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't my best work, but uh, we got through it. At the middle, coming in at number three. Number three. Love actually. These are good times for merch. Like you go, Amazon.com. Uh, what what movie is this? <laughs> Love Actually. Love Actually on DVD. Oh. Merch number 0008835. Use a Who Charted code. Get a 5% discount. Genius. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm thinking. you're thinking. You've become more of a business head. Yeah, I'm the Gene Simmons of Earwolf. I <laughs> Really? Yeah. You can't. Oh well, say, yeah. Um, you, you brought up the the, the tongue. Yeah. Earlier. You can't. Say, you can't add um to the end of a word without paying me. <laughs> you, you, did you have paperwork? Did you patent that? Did yeah. Did you patent patent um? Right, I'm, I'm a tricks. shark. I'm a shark. Do you have a patent? I got, a, I got a physical patent and a mechanical patent, and I trade. It's trademark them. Trademark them. <laughs> Okay, Love Actually. Uh, this production budget was $40 million. Worldwide, it made $249.94 million. Wow. Yeah, that made a lot of movies. Who is? Who are the stars in this one? Oh, we got a huge list. Oh, uh, just give me the top three. <laughs> Wait, I gotta look it up. I'm sorry. Love uh, Actually. Love Actually. What a, is this a recent? No, it's not recent. Um, I know there's Kira Knightley. I know there's uh, uh, Colin Firth. You know um, what I'm thinking I look like tonight? Who? What? Uncle Floyd. From? The Uncle Floyd show. I don't know that. Floyd Vivino. It was a uh, cable access show on the East Coast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do you get, Bill, Bill Nighy, Colin Firth, we got Liam Neeson, Emma Thompson. Uh, okay, so it's a British film. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of people in it. All right. All right. British, uh, they're doing good work. Lately, uh, what have they done this so lately? What's the best thing the Brits have done lately? Um, Has it been a movie, Skyfall? Okay, the so Olympics. I just want to tell you guys that he wrote British and circled it. Actually, there you go. Yeah, I guess the Bond film. Was that good? I didn't see. It. I I loved it. I thought it was as a true return to form. I think he's a little too bloodthirsty. This Bond. What? He's a little too happy to murder this guy. I think it's a bad message. Wait, you think so too? I totally agree with this. Really? Yeah, I like that. So many. Did, did you see Skyfall? Of no. Of course not. There were so many instances of Bond just like letting someone die just because it's uh, going to help him out. Like, right. Totally innocent person. Like I'll just let this person die. Right. He's yeah. lost his conscience. He lost his way. But is this not the plight of modern man? Well, We've lost our way, Howard. We've lost our way. <laughs> <laughs> That was disturbing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think that it, it's a bad message to send out to the world that that the Western governments are just happy to kill whoever's wh whoever they want. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to number two, John Cusack in "Say Anything." Ooh, I'm gonna take out Diane Corey. Diane Court doesn't go out. She's a brain trapped in the body of a game show hostess. I miss this. See you get hurt. You've never seen I it? Get I have seen it. I've seen it many times. I want to see it again. So it's Lloyd and, um, Good music. Uh, let's go Few on. films captured a generation's definition of the die for love sentimentality as Cameron Crowe's Say Anything. Up there. Say it. Besides announcing kickboxing as the sport of the future, Say Anything is the classic romance movie that is standing the test of time. Like and who could forget the boombox scene? You ever do something like that? A grand gesture for love, Crane Bone? In real life? Yeah, bro. Not in a script. I bought the men some shoes. Were they really nice shoes, or? Yeah, they were. They were nice. She. We had been walking through a store, and she said she liked them, and I took a mental note of it. And then when I was in deep, when I was in, she was mad at me. Uh -huh. it was often. I hid them in some laundry. She was mad because the pile got messed up. Ah, and she's yelling at me. And so then she goes to fix the pile and she sees a shoebox and opens it up. 
and then just immediately started bawling, Aww. crying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's um strange and sweet. She couldn't believe I got the size right. <laughs> <laughs> I was proud of that too. <laughs> Frank, do you have any grand gestures for a lady? Um, oh, one time I walked two miles home in bare feet. To, I, gave, I was with a friend of mine, a girl that I had a crush on in high school, and I was like, here, why don't you take my shoes? Because she had heels on. Ah. I was like, take my shoes, I'll walk home barefoot. It's no big deal. Wow, that's nice. Wow. Were, you, were you in the suburbs? Yeah, it was like suburban New Jersey. So. What town? Point Pleasant, New oh, Jersey, okay. on the shore. So it was a summer night? No, this is like a summer day, uh -huh. a hot summer day. Mm. Tons of... Barefoot at the stuff. beach, big I sacrifice there. <laughs> <laughs> it was on paved road. <laughs> <laughs> There's broken glass everywhere. But see how summer inspires people to great heights? Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, I didn't answer. You answered yeah, I thought yourself. you did. <laughs> Summer 2013's coming. Yeah, it's on its way. Where should I be looking? I, I mean, I think point to. Should I go? I mean, I think I think anywhere you can look anywhere you want. Okay. <laughs> point point to where you're gonna look at Babe Ruth. How like you Babe, doing? You're doing. You're doing great. Yeah, you look good, buddy. I look odd. Go ahead. <laughs> Up a moviefanatic.com's Valentine's Day must sees coming in at number one. Number, number one. one. Ten things I hate about you. It's a widely known fact that the strap never saw this. Aren't allowed to I saw it. So good. It is? Yeah, it's good. So this is a good movie. Well, it's like Taming of the Shrew, but updated. And then Heath Ledger was in it. Like one of his first things. And anyone. Julia Stiles. Oh, Stiles was just in something. She plays, uh... Yeah, what? what? Oh, Silver uh, Linings Playbook. Yeah, yeah that's Silver it. Silver Playbook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in the marriage with the guy who wants to choke himself out. <laughs> Production budget of this movie is $30 million. Worldwide, it made 53.48. What's good about it, Koo? Um, ah, it's fun. And there's tension. Oh, jeez. What? It's fun and there's tension. What, what? What? It's a rom com. Teens. Oh, okay. Set in high school. I mean, what more? Is that what you like about it? Yeah, I mean, it's Taming of the Shrew. It's Shakespeare, yeah. so you got great source material. Mm -hmm. And then it just had an awesome cast, along with those people you mentioned. Also, a young Joseph Gordon Levitt. JGL. Also, wow. a young David Crumholtz. Ooh, David Crumholtz. So, like, we're talking nice. Could be good. Yeah. All right, I'll check it out. You can write it in your notes? Oh, yes. Do you have room in your love notes? Love What is it called? L no, not love actually. Ten things I like about you. <laughs> Hate about you. Hate about you. Hate about you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Netflix. Okay. Um, well, okay. I think we should take one more. Wait, no. Let's in, let's summate. In summation. Oh, in summation. Uh, say anything. Can't top it. Say anything. Yeah. Yeah. I like love actually. I love ten things I hate about you. I, I'm kind of on the fence. How about you? Those last three are all great. Yeah. Those last three are all solid. Flawless. Good job, moviefanatic.com. Good job, movies. Uh, before we go, I'm gonna answer. Let's answer one question. Go ahead. Uh, we already did this. Let's see. Uh, okay, a few people are asking us, um, what guests would you love to have on the podcast? I would love to have Kanye West. Well, yeah. That would be cool. It would be odd. It would be odd. Uh, um, what? Who else would be awesome? I mean, I want to, we'll eventually get her, but of course, like Amy Poehler. Oh, yeah, like, of course. I love Absolutely. Catherine Hahn. Yep. Um, I'm in, I have a lady boner for, as you know, Tom Hardy. Oh, yeah, Tom Hardy. I can't shut up about it. No. <laughs> Especially to you for some reason. You're no, the person no. I feel safe to tell, tell you that to. I would like to get, um... Hmm. <laughs> Little Debbie. <laughs> Little Debbie would be good. Also, Krayshawn. Krayshawn. Emmy Kitty Rossum. Pride. You would like sure. em Emmy Rossum? Come on. Right. Um, uh, maybe some Scar Joe. Scar Joe would be real good. <laughs> but you'd be depleted. That's okay. And uh, last one before we get a break. Oh, um, Caesar Milan, <laughs> the dog whisperer. He's helped. <laughs> Wait, he's helped you? I mean, I have yeah, a dog. Yeah. yeah, you should watch it. I, and I, he has helped me. I'm just curious, for a gentleman who does not have a dog, how he's helped you. 
Because it's all about the people. You look at the dog and you go, that dog's not thinking I should be a whack job. The dog is just reacting to the person. So it's always the person. So it helps you read people and sort of help people because it's just he's doing it through the dog. But I say it helps you like, you know what I mean? If someone's too skittish and jumpy, you got to calm them down. I heal with my steel. Wait, so... That's a reference to a song wherein you heal by making sweet love to a lady. Right, but you can tell some of them need to be settled down. We're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll be back on Who Charted. Hey, we're back on Who Charted. Guess what? I feel like my pits stink. Jesus, cool. They do. It's not because I stink. It's the dress. I've worn these to a few parties, and I think they just can't fully dry clean the stench. You know what rhymes with stench? Clench. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I don't feel like I have clench. I'm unclenched. Are you 100% clench free? Not, un, not 100%, but I'm... Near. I'm, what, I'm, well, give me a percentage. I would say the clench is at 40% from 100. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hey, guys. Hey. Uh, Hey, it's time for our interactive segment. Uh, all we're going to do, we're not going to do another chart. We're going to answer your questions. Right. And I'm very excited. And we may have, may, we may have a guest. I don't know. But uh, let's. Uh, first off, it says people say keep the fork, strike the baked goods. All right, striking it. Striking the baked. This goods. is the fork. There we go. They like that. I'll put it in a little stand here. Strike the bottle cap. I didn't know there was a bottle cap. Do oh, you see guy, one? Spikes. Strike it. Strike it. Strike it. I'll do it old keg party style. <laughs> it's gone. Strike the weird hanging thing. Strike the furry thing. Oh, this thing. Yeah, strike it. You gotta I don't know it. whose that is. I didn't put it there. So you got to strike it's it, though. That's like Our listeners want to strike it. That's going to be a tough strike. All right. While you're striking that, yeah, uh, Lisa that's... Ham asked, dirt cup. Marry me. Yay, Dirt Cup. I guess it's not really an ask. It's more of a statement. Yeah, no okay. more statements. Let's it's get questions. It's more of a statement. All right. I like a woman who takes charge and yeah. tells me to marry her. Yeah. <laughs> Modern ladies. What state is she in? Oh, it doesn't say. A uh, love. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now that Obama is in the summer camp, <laughs> wait, what? now that Obama is in the summer camp, who would you most like to be exposed to your mantra? That's ninja meat. Oh, uh, besides Obama? Yeah, who else? Into the summer fold. Oh, uh, uh, Come on, you've had to have made a list. You're a list maker. Let's go with, uh... Mm, maybe, 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 like, a rapper that you've always oh, loved. Oh, okay, Nicki, like... Nicki Minaj. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Z Web Slinga asks, "How did you and Howard meet?" Uh, we met through the alt comedy scene. I believe I would assume M Bar. Probably M Bar, yeah. And probably when you came out to Los Angeles from Austin. Yeah, and what year was that when you came out? That was the late late nineties. You are unwilling to say when you moved to LA. Right. Okay. Uh, Lisa Ham. Oh, Lisa. Asked same some, chick. Same My Lisa? Chick. You're Lisa. Yeah. What'd you say? Lisa asked, how did Biscotti woo you, Cuckoo? Ooh, how did Biscotti woo you? Um, well, we met at a Mr. Show taping, and then we just started being friends for a year. And when he asked me out, um, we started talking about Prince. And then he asked me out, and the, uh, the rest is... Uh... Were you at the Mr. Show taping as an audience member? Yes. So I was. He used his fame to leverage in in in. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Leverage it in? Leverage in. To leverage in. Yeah. Have you ever leveraged in? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Wee <laughs> 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 okay. wee, where's the wee wee doll? Can we see it live? Well, that may be too disturbing, says Mary P971. Yeah, that thing really is disturbing. Like, I even looked at it today and thought, like, oh, this might be cute for Valentine's Day. And then I just thought, I, no one need, really needs to see it. <laughs> if I went, like, to build a bear and bought little outfits for it, would you put it on the bear? Sure. <laughs> you heard it here? <laughs> we tried it live <laughs> on VPN. V P N. Uh, what does Kulop and Biscotti Ackerman have planned tonight? Asked Matt Honor. Matt Honor. Uh, we don't have anything planned tonight because we're both working. Scott's shooting his second season. Why won't season. you cook up a batch of lobster bisque? 
What does that mean? That's you and like, uh, you know, like uh, Jay. Wait, what were those? Like Ben, Jay, Ben. What was the, you know, the, the couple hyphenates? When two, when two people get together that are a couple, so it would be like uh, Benifer. Ah. Like that. Oh, Br- Brangelina. Oh, I Brangelina see. Benifer. You guys are lobster bisque. I see. Okay. I thought I thought you were talking about something else, right. which was much more disgusting. But said, well, yeah, you could imply that if you'd like. <laughs> um, we're going to be celebrating uh, tomorrow. Or no, we're celebrating Saturday night because he's shooting his second season of Comedy Bang Bang on IFC. Hey. So congr- exciting. Um, okay. So we've got a question from Star to Howard. Our Brett Morris, our uh, star. Oh, so sweet, star. He says, Howard, when will you record more Summer Tracks? Oh, I would say this week, star. Just give me a text. We've already recovered, uh, recorded two. Summer Gum got, got its own song on the second album. And um, Mayor Larry Vaughn from Jaws gets a song. A whole song just for him? Yes. Because you admire him. Yeah. He's yeah. A defender of Summer. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Dart. <laughs> Mike Wingo Rathjen asks, how can a dude looking like Dirt Cup not have ladies chasing him all over the place? Hey, what was that guy's name? Mike Wingo Rathjen. That's Mike Wingo Rathjen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mike. I don't know, Mike. 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 <laughs> I don't put myself out there that much. See, and... this is why I think it looks like a soap opera, because I think it's because of Dirt Cup. Go ahead. Yeah, Dirt Cup does have some soap looks. I don't I don't put myself out there, and then I put my foot in my mouth sometimes. Oof, don't do that. Yeah. Don't right. put your foot in your mouth. Well, I think that's good. It shows the vulnerability or Ooh. something. Or screw up ability. <laughs> like the lady can screw him up? Like he's or that to uh, he's not threatening because he's so dopey in the noggin that he's a screw up, so she can control him and manipulate him. Which you and I talked about on tour. If if women were larger than men physically, <laughs> and we feared physical repercussions, we would mostly manipulate. That's what we would do. I'm not saying women do that, but I'm saying if something's bigger than you, you can't always come at it with direct action. You gotta. Think of a... You got to trick them. You got to trick men is what you're saying. Ladies, right. trick your men. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, Ronald Riley says, do you guys know how fabulous you look right now? Or did I already say that? Do you read that? Is that the same one? I think it might be a separate one. Now nah, let's pretend it's separate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Kyle Loader, not Kurt Loader, Kyle Loader. What's both we and Koo's favorite DBS track? Can I go first? Yes. <laughs> For you, it's go. <laughs> well, the first one that I heard, I th- believe my seal. No, not valet. Oh, uh, not valet. There and you go. second one, street legal. There you go. Okay, those are early days. Yeah, early days. Love yeah. them. First time I met Crane Bone. Right. How about you? What are your favorites? Uh, for me, uh, buy you clothes, do you, and I'm take them back, and. Um, uh, newborn baby colt is up there. Wait, newborn baby colt? Yeah. What's that about again? The newborn baby Here colt. Oh, I'm gonna do the dance. Colt. Let's the watch Kulap do the newborn baby colt okay. dance. Okay, so we gotta explain what it is though. So. All right, so when you hop out of bed at the end of a session with the lady, if you've really done your job correctly, you'll notice that she can't really walk correctly. She's like that, like a newborn baby colt. Newborn baby colt. <sighs> Newborn baby cult. Well, I gotta get some video of that. <laughs> we got <the> video. <laughs> this is video. I mean, from my personal library. <laughs> we have a lot of video well, of that. You, it's, it's getting better each time. Thank you. I'm really figuring it out. Yeah. I'm, I hope it. To, I hope it to become a sensation. Yeah. Hey, that's gonna be out on the new uh, upcoming album. Uh, Douche Minutia by Dragon Boy Suede, and there'll be a music video for that one. So look for it. Uh, did Howard see Jaws in theaters? A- asked by Bag So Fat. Yes, I did. Chinese. My mom drove us to the theater. She said, "Don't be scared." We got there; it was sold out. We had to wait till the next day, oh. and then we saw it. And you were scared. All scared. <laughs> okay. When are you going to get Dan Harmon as a guest? Him and Dustin asked Greg Weiss. Love to get him on. That'd be great. Yep. Please Me. formal invitation. Dan Harmon and Dustin. <laughs> Why did I have to look there? I know Dustin very well. Yep. And I, I might be seeing Dustin later tonight. All right. He's your Valentine. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. What video games has Howard been playing, and does anything distract him in the games? Kelvin Martinez. Yeah, uh, I haven't been playing any video games. Uh, I haven't been playing them, so not nothing. Like I, nothing. I, yeah. We were walking around in my neighborhood, and he was just like, "I feel like I'm missing out." I'm not playing video games. Well, yeah, that's true. I mean, you could choose gaming as a lifestyle and make it a priority, and you probably have a pretty good life because yeah. you're going to so many different worlds and experiencing <laughs> things. You should probably experience more things than anybody else could if that's not a gamer. If you're, Wait, if, you're if you're, if you're, but an it's avid, not real though. But it's real enough. It's real enough. I mean, what's? But what, isn't it? Isn't it better to kind of be out and about? Having ad adventures in this. If I said I'm gonna give you 300 real experiences, okay, or I give you 30,000 fake experiences that are still kind of mind blowing. I want the real experiences. Well, so here you are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm better than Halo, because I'm real. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this. Um. Ooh, oh, 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 controversy from Andrew Conlon. Read in EW this week that Emmy Rossum loves Drake. Wee oui, wee, oui, deal breaker. Yes. She's, uh, she's uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's like, uh, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. Are you the camel? Are you the straw? I am. Are you the back? These are all good questions. Thank you. I'm the camel. Uh -huh. She's, I'm. My back is my thing for Emmy Rossum, and the you're, Drake you're thing is boner. a straw. Uh -huh. But the thing is, that that her stock boner. have been plummeting lately anyway, because I try to watch that show. Shameless. She's always doing something disgusting on it. Well, I think it's called, the show's called Shameless. Oh, okay, I didn't pick that up. I was just like, oh, I finally get to see this Emmy Rossum in the show, and I would fast forward to her scenes, and she's just like always doing something disgusting. So I just, I got, I, don't, I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. sorry, I'm sorry about this news. Turning your brand, Emmy. Get off that show. Cool up. What lipstick are you wearing? I am wearing, um, I don't know what I'm wearing. Oh, that's uh, Tukta Violet. <laughs> Tukta Vi Violet lips. <laughs> that's right, singing fan. Hey, tell them what your name means. Cool up means? Cool up means rose. And Tukta means? Like toy or doll. Right. And doll. Cool, and cool up means? Rose. Kulat means blow up, and Tukta means. It doesn't mean blow up. It, my name doesn't mean blow up, doll. All right, I, we. I've sent an envoy to that Pacific Rim, and he's he's giving me you, information. You know I'm from Laos, right? And it's not in the Pacific Rim. It's very close. It's, it's okay, I guess closer than where we are now, but it's Southeast Asia. Oh, okay, Pacific Brim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do we have any more questions? Because I just have one here. I wonder uh, if, we, if, we, if we have more. But uh, Mandy Brown asks, what's the worst Valentine's Day you've ever had? <sighs> I can't. I think any of them where you don't have somebody is, is bad. It's tough. Are you guys feeling bad right now? I'm not because this is like, this is, feels like I have somebody. Yeah, you have lots of people. Everybody, yeah. everybody watching. Do you feel bad? No, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. This is definitely way better than just being at home by myself. And yeah. you got ham bone on your tip. What's her name? <laughs> Pat Ham? Lisa, don't talk about, don't talk about my girl like that. Uh, Lisa ham, ham? Lisa Ham. There you go. You got ham bone be, on uh, your tip. <laughs> ham bone on the tip. Dirt ham. That's Dirt gonna ham. be your hyphenate. Yeah. And I'm uh, gonna be We're gonna get more uh we're gonna get more uh questions. questions? Do uh, you are you are you uh yeah. Thank you. Hit me with these questions, then I think um, okay. I may have to excuse myself for a second. All right. Uh, before you leave, then, what size shoe does Howard wear? I'm guessing an eight and a half. Who said eight and a half? Santa size me official. God. They, I'm, well, so that means, because usually dudes' shoes coordinate with dudes' dongs. Right. Right? Right. It's about, it's about you know, one-to-one, -one, right? Guys? Yeah, yeah. That's it's about one-to-one, -one, guys? That's, that's the sign. I don't guys? know why I'm, decide I don't know why I'm taking off my shoe. Okay. I'm a I'm a size twelve. Santa. Whoa, Charlie exclusive. <laughs> well, you're so, not taking your shoe off now. No, I, I figured I don't need to prove it. I know it's twelve, but eight and a half. I think that might be this coat. This coat is like it makes it's making my arms look shorter. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you have a coat, yeah. so then they go, oh, he looks like uh, eight and a half. 
Like a like you know J C Penny Boys Department. Was that Timmy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. How long after you met Howard did it take to be good at figuring out what he's talking about? <laughs> Ryan Watts. How long after you met Howard did it take to be good at figuring out what he's talking about? Ooh. Huh. Huh. I feel... You've evolved. I, think, I feel like we've evolved together. Right. I feel, uh, I feel like in Ear, at Earwolf, I'm known as the Howard Whisperer. Right. Um, I, help, I help you... And others I'm like Lincoln. It's, it'll make sense in hi, as her as history gets further. As her history. As history gets further, and the dust settles, then you'll realize what I'm talking about. We, I think we we know what you're talking about now, for the most part. I no, mean, that's, I've got I've, vision. I've got vision for this town. People, I, a lot of stuff. We're gonna make this town a better town. I've got ideas for it that we can't go into. We can have one kind of sneak peek. Or, or just a tease, a tease. I'm going to ban the big cars from the road. It's going to oh, be God, all small cars. It's going to right. make I know the where, feel of the I city way better. I know where this is coming. He is seriously considering getting a smart car. Right. And now I I was thinking about it because I like the idea of, of being able to park wherever. And I got so much reaction to it. People, what are you doing, smart car? That I almost want to get one as a statement, as a social statement. That you can't tell me what's at all. No, that the city is too lumbered down. It's like everybody traveling on elephant. Everybody's got these huge vehicles taking up room. If you cut the size of the vehicles in half, boom, there's half the traffic. Yeah, but man, like you want to start dating again. I'm just saying. I know. I know it's not what like. I'm saying I know is, it's materialistic. I know it's it's slightly no, gross. No, I'll get I'm a visionary saying. woman, like a a green woman. Like a Martian? No, like a you know forward thinking. Because she'll realize. Yeah. Ladies, are you out there? Yeah. Please tweet at us, please. I please. need a woman to to uh, to add on my Begley Jr. Whoa. That means something to a to a cultured woman. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to do that. There's a lot of look, there's a lot of I bet there's a lot of great women in this town that would date a guy in a smart car. Sure. I'm sure they're divorcees or um Jeez. retirees. Wow. What? Ah, Coming come out on. against the the, C, the ease. You're a tall man, dude. Think about this. You're a tall man. What are you, six two? Yeah, you six go in one. that little cl clown car, right? Do you see what I'm saying, right? And then I worry about your safety. People drive I'm like nuts a guy, here. Like, what about when a chick wears like a tiny top, and her belly's exposed? That's it. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be all man packed into that little Wait, car. You, you, you are. You're gonna be a muffin top. You're a muffin top. Yeah, I'm a muffin a top. <laughs> I'm just crammed in. Can I call you muffin top from now on yeah i'm muffin top with the thong <laughs> riding higher than the top of the jeans <laughs> muffin top kramer you guys you heard it here uh can we get a cuckoo wee wee and dirt cup thump what's that thumping thumping yeah oh yeah how do we do that again like this it's a thumping thumping what was the thumping thing again like this this is how you oh, do it oh yeah Thumping. The thumping. thumping. For the for those, thumping. yeah, there you go. That's a good yeah, one. That's a good thump, right? You got good one thump? cooking there. Yeah, you you I got one. I'm trying to give them a good angle. Give them the marry me thump to ham bone. Lee ham, look at that, <laughs> Lee ham. Ooh, you don't have your. Uh, you gotta tuck you, the yeah, thumb you, you under. Gotta, yeah, what, the, th the thumb's gotta come out. Oh, like you gotta thump it oh, out. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what makes it dirty, yo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. What that yeah, is yeah. is uh, sexual sign language. You meet a girl at a bar. She's not really able to speak English. You just you pop that on top of the bar. What bars are you in? How many times does that, that work? Could be any, that could be Thai Town. That could be... Uh, I don't do it as... That could be... Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Like the yeah. outer regions, like, uh, yeah, you know, El Monte. You take, that, <laughs> El Monte. you take that out by the 15. <laughs> do we have any more questions? No, I, I think I gotta excuse myself. Oh, you're gonna go someplace? Hey, do we have any more questions? Is anything? Well, while well, he's taking a quick break, I feel like this is going really well, really well, Dirk. Oh yeah. You've got a proposal. Um, Howard's got to go to the bathroom, and uh, I think people are loving the show. I've come out like. completely on top 
I feel <laughs> so. I what feel I thought like it. was gonna, I thought I was just gonna go home and watch whatever TV. I'm, I got a Lisa Ham to go home. Yeah, to. yeah, you do. Congrats. Thanks. Wait, wait. Do we have a, a guest here? Yeah. Uh, Lee. What's Lee. Up? Oh my How God. Doing? Howard didn't say you were here. Yeah, I drove him here. I was waiting outside in the car. I thought I'd come say hi. What's up? Viewers, this is Howard's older brother, Lee. Lee Kramer. How you doing? Yeah, good idea. Valentine's Day. Well, you're the one out here with your brother on Valentine's Day. Where my, you I'm married now. I used to be the desperado in the family, and now... <laughs> Now what? Now what, Lee? Howard's the one who's gonna die with so much love to give and no one to give it to. Well, I I think he's trying his best now, Lee. I think you're a little too hard on him. What's up? You know I've been traveling as his envoy to the Pacific Rim. I've Wait, been sending what? him back information from that part of the All world. All right, this is exactly why he doesn't have the right information. Right, I learned about Laos. Good country. Okay, what did you learn about it? It's like Colorado if it was a country. It's surrounded by land. Okay, what else? It's not China, it's Laos. (laughs) Yes. Colorado's not China. Yeah, I, I learned. You want me to Funny, teach you? Yeah. I can uh, teach you some of the language. I already know the language. This is how you say You want to learn how to say dad said it was cool in Laotia? Yes, please. Okay, you go. Uh, Papua New Guinea. Dad said it was cool. Papua New Guinea. It's- not that's how you say it. No, that's a country by Australia. What's up? You get some cobra wine. What does that mean? They make wine out of cobras. What? They milk cobras? and They take a cobra, they stick it in a jar, and they let it ferment. And in what? And they sell it. In alcohol? Oh, out of cobra juice. Wait, what? <laughs> so they, they... What's up? Hey, hey Lee. Kula. What's up, Lee? Why aren't you spending this time with your wife? Because she got me a cool up doll. What does that mean? I, I, my name doesn't mean blow up. Took the cool up. What's up? What? Hey, guess what? What? I'm gonna go down. Uh, I'm going to go to the to the Lao Asian Tourist Board. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna talk to them about putting in an ocean. <laughs> you can get more tourists if you're near the ocean. Why should Japan get all the glory? <laughs> What's up? What's up, Lee? Uh, Lee, I mean, this is such a I want to present you with this flower because I know you don't have a man in your life right now. I, actually, I, too, am married. Uh, oh, that's right. Scott Ackerman. Yes, he's you guys my still, husband. Okay. We're, yes, You're we're still together. friends? Okay. No, he's my husband. He's okay. the love of Legally, my life. Legally, he has to be your friend. <laughs> He would have to take legal action to stop being friendly to you. Why would he want to be unfriendly to me? I'm a great wife. You are. How do you know? Oh, I've listened to the show. <laughs> Dad said it was cool. Papa knew good, eh? <laughs> All right, I got to go. I got to okay. make sure I'm outside for when Howard comes out. All right, well. Good to meet you. You too, Dirt Cup oh, from Jersey. You, I'm from there too. You've met me many times. What's before. up? Okay. Right, got to go. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye, Lee. Bye. Okay. Wow. Wow. You know, Howard always does that impression, but it, like you don't it's realize how like that's really uncanny. him. That's like really him. It's uncanny. Yeah, like Howard. I mean, he may do a horrible Lincoln, but he does a great Lee. Yeah, that Lee is impeccable. It's so good. It's he's actually rougher. I think. Right, Lee, Lee himself? Yeah, yeah. a little rough. Oh, hey, hey dude. Oh, you're br- you didn't say that your brother was in town. Oh, he's out in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, that's tough. You're spending V-Day what, did with he your call brother. In? No, no, no. He came in. Oh, my God, really? Yeah, he just came in and sat down when you walked out. Wow, I hope it wasn't too hard on me. No, he seemed more hard on me. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. He kept calling me blow up. Like, did you... Bring up the blow up doll. No, he's been over there. He gets his own impressions. It's like he he's over there. Impressions. He's been take he's been taking trips. He be he hits How? uh like three weekends in a row he's been over there. Wow, that's you know that's like a, a fifteen hour flight. That seems excessive. Yeah. To learn very little uh about uh my country, my people, and he is very inaccurate. Yeah, it's tough. But you know, um it's like Lincoln. It's uh, it's hard to verify all the stuff that went on without actually being there. 
Oh, what happened? What's that? Time to go? Yeah. Ooh, I think it's time to wrap it up, you guys. I think this was, like, highly successful. I hope so. I hope people enjoyed it. I think it was, like, I think people uh, possibly love us more. Hopefully. Um, I'm not getting dressed up every time we do this. I'll tell you, this is for Valentine's Day only. Only? It's a special holiday edition. Yeah. Um, I, I want to thank Dirk Cup. Thank you so much. Thank, we, thank you, guys. We hope it works out with you and uh, uh, Lisa, Liam. <laughs> Lisa Ham. Yeah. Liam Neeson. Um, I want to thank uh, the Video Podcasting Network, yeah. everybody at Earwolf, Julia especially, of course, Lauren, Dave, everybody. Um, and that's our show. We will hear, see, love on you next week on Who Chucks? Who